Hello, I'm Dr. Jewel Williams, owner of Tribe Production Publishing Incorporated. And I'm starting a new series today called I Have an Idea. I hope you enjoyed last month's tips. And if you haven't had an opportunity to see them, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel, Jewel W1, and you can catch them all. Or you can go to my website, PublishDivision.com. So let's get started with today's tip. Today's tip is we're going to use the I in idea. And that stands for interesting to you, so you investigate. When you're designing to write, for some, the first book or project isn't always so hard. But be, but be, becomes difficult is the follow-up, the next project. For others, your desire to write, but you aren't sure what to write or how to go about figuring it out. So I think these idea tips will be useful to help you get started. So let me ask you my first question. What's interesting to you? The very meaning of idea is a thought or suggestion as to a possible course of action. Again, a thought or suggestion as to a possible course of action. And in the definition, you see thought or suggestion. Therefore, the first place to start is what interests you. What thoughts constantly come up in your mind? What do you think about a lot? What do you tend to spend your thought life on, on things that are interesting to you? Um, let those thoughts move from what I call the thought stage to the suggestion stage. And so I just give you a challenge for the next 30 days. Why don't you write down your thoughts? Write them all down. And so, for example, let's say you're interested in healthy cooking. So then you would write your question based on your thought would be, what are the best foods for me to eat if, for example, if I wanted to lose weight? And so then what you do is you turn that question into a suggestion. And so then my suggestion based on my question would be, I should try some recipes for healthy desserts to see what I like. So you start with what interests you. And, and as you can notice just in that example that I use, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually mocking myself through a process. Because remember the definition is we're trying to get to a course of action. The second thing you want to do is how will I investigate these interests? So once you have the two steps, your thought stage and the suggestion stage, you're ready to create a possible course of action. And continue with the example I used, I would then take a few of my recipes that I currently use and I would do some investigation into how to either reduce the calories, reduce the sugar, how can I make this dessert healthier? And so once I've done this and I like the results, I have a potential for a new project. Maybe I want to write a cookbook. Maybe I want to write an ebook about this. What do I want to do? So this could become my next writing project. And I hope that you can see how this process works with anything. Let me give you a different example. Maybe you have an interest in scripture memorization. Maybe that's your thoughts. That's what you're thinking about a lot of. And so you would then write your question. What steps help can help me remember scriptures? And so in the suggestion stage, you would then say, I'm going to work on memorizing Psalm 32 and journaling how I did that. Once you've done that, you have the makings of a new project. Maybe you write a project around Psalm 32. Maybe you uh, use that as your example on how to begin scripture memorization. But however you work with that would be based on what you uncovered, what you learned in your investigation. And so you can share what you've learned in that investigation. You also have already done some research because you've You've had to do this, you know, discovering for yourself. So this is now something you can turn into a project. And then the, the last step is journal the process. Another idea, another meaning of idea is the aim or purpose. One of the tools you want to use to make sure you capture your aim or purpose is to journal the steps. Also write down what obstacles you face and how you overcame them. These are great tools to use to help make your writing project interesting to your reader. Remember, the idea system starts with you finding the things you're interested in and you taking the time to investigate how to accomplish or complete the thoughts that interest you. And I, so I'm excited about this. So this was the I. Again, I stands for, let me get back to it. I stands for interesting 
to you so you investigate so the first thing is what interests you write your thoughts down make a, a, a question answer your question with your suggestions and then investigate and so that's our first thing so if you need a coach or be ready to publish your book try production a publishing incorporated is ready to help you to win in publishing for more details you can go to my website publishthevision.com or you can email me at dr jewel williams at publish the uh, vision.com for more details and so until the next time our next writing tip this is what you do write it till next time